I had your local dragon lady here in a robe because I'm comfy. <laughs> and this is my husband, the completionist. He's once again in Alberta, which is a utopia for Yu Gi Oh! Because guess what? He's the only one that plays it. No one else does. So there's an abundance of products there, including what set, Derek? Uh, I went to Walmart today, and they actually have first edition packs of Flame of Destruction on for half price. <laughs> so I ended up buying every package in those stupid cardboard boxes, which were 29 in total. And according to all of our Yu-Gi-Oh friends, Flames of uh, Destruction is one of the, the, the few booster sets in which just about every secret rare in that set has some va uh, value to it. Yep, so anyway, with further ado, just open them up and just highlight the rare or whatever in each one. Because, I mean, there's a few cards in that I wouldn't mind getting. You know, s secret edition of Ash Blossom would be nice. You know, we already got a few play sets, but... The Flame of Destruction version would be nice. You know, Ghost Spell, more of those would be good. Infinite Impertinence, even though it's been re-released. Re yeah, uh, pulled, uh, pulled an Ultra. We got a Network Trap Hole. Network Trap Hole? Okay. And a uh, Trickstar Light Arena. Uh -huh. Trickstars are okay. Meaningless product plug for Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> We figure with 29 packs of Planes of Destruction, we'll pull, best case scenario, three secrets, maybe four if we're lucky. We'll see, because, I mean, it's not in a box, right? So that's why these cardboard-packed versions could be... I mean, I don't know. So, Element okay. save for Nalu. Alright. And uh, go key face turn. No one plays, well, I mean, I haven't seen anyone play Gokis in a long time, if not since Firewall got banned. So. Keep her going. Goki to Master Ogre. Master Ogre. And, and Sekka's Light. Ooh, I, people are after those. I wouldn't mind a few myself, but... So definitely keep that one separate. Another Master Ogre. Don't need to show it again. And the FA Dark Dragster. Huh. A little bit of trivia. When was Flames of Destruction released? To be honest, I have no idea. At least a year ago, I think. Got our first secret, but unfortunately it's something I've pulled before, many copies of, the Super Team Buddy Force Unite. People still still want these for their gimmick decks. Yeah, but you know, those are the fun ones, the fun gimmick decks. And F.A. Overheat. Just a new, uh, just a new rare world legacy Soro. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. This, this is the set where Called by the Grave comes as a common. want to rarity bump. Oh, what else? Um, second secret. What? 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 Oh! <laughs> <Ghost> bell! <laughs> perfect. All and right. that's a and that's a first edition. Oh my god! Only in only in Alberta. 
I guess it's, I guess there are benefits to having no Yu-Gi-Oh community up there. <laughs> Fort McMurray. And Great Fly. Okay. Ah, who cares? Ghost Bell. Okay. Well, with this too. Yeah, I think that's the. Uh, I think that's the. Uh, I think that pretty much paid for itself. I think a secret ghost bell might be going for sixty to eighty bucks. Oh. The secret. Yeah, first head. You know. Okay, Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord, under super. All right. And the Sanctified Dark Lord. Well, I'm guessing we should hold on to every common and called by the grave, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I have a bunch, but you know, you you don't go astray of those. You really don't. But it's... I don't know what set now the super rare is in, but a lot of people are looking to rarity bump those. I'm not sure how much they're worth now, though. Well, there we go. These are high demand. Oh, yeah. Red Reboot. Red yeah, nothing wrong with those. Red Reboot. And Trickstar defeated them. Mm -hmm. I still think Trickstars... I still think Trickstars are relevant. You know, some people aren't, but... I think they are. Just about doubled my money. Yeah. Like, how much are those going for now? Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, fifty to sixty Canadian. Oh, jeez. And there's a few people who want those too in our locals, don't they? Yeah. And we have a Raven Dread Evolution. All right. Well, I'm, not even, uh, I'm not even halfway through the packs, and I pulled three secrets. So. Yeah, you're getting good luck with these now. Uh, although. One surprised me of the Ash Blossom, though, was Short Prince Secret. Oh no, Ash Blossom doesn't come in this set. Uh, that, uh, uh, that's what the Ghost Bell was. Oh, so, wait a minute. So which one did the Secret uh, Ash Blossom come in? I think it was Maximum Crisis. Oh, you're right, you're right. I, I remember that, okay. okay. Uh, Another... Not our ultra, but uh, not very high demand. The uh, Iron Dragon uh, uh, to Myatron. All right. Okay. Come on, Infinite. Come on, Infinite. Another Sekka's Light. Element Saber, La Pula Mina. All right. Yeah. Band Ultra, but Nightmare Goblin. see how much he is anymore. They banned him thinking that would solve everything, but no, that firewall was the problem the entire time. But given that firewall's gone though, I wonder, would they bring the goblin back? I'm surprised I haven't pulled a phoenix. Oh, speak of devil. Phoenix? Nightmare Phoenix? phoenix. There you go. <laughs> No, like I said, they're only uh, uh, they're only supers, and I'm surprised. Like I said, I've I've gotten that far and only got one phoenix. Uh, are we still are we still keeping these for you and your waking dragons? Uh, we have a few. That's a common though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a few of those. 
I don't really use, utilize it that much. Like in, in this couple of decks, I do have it, and I'm never able to get a trigger very well. But there are a few good cards you can summon with it. Ultimate Falcon is one. Okay. Uh, this last one had nothing that we didn't already see before. More seems like Goki the Master Ogre is the common uh, the common super. I've already pulled like three of them. Anyone's after those now. Uh, new one, we got the Rainbow Refraction, so something for your Crystal Beast. Yeah, I want to get the rest of the cards for it. So many, pack, so many packs and only pulled one. Uh, let me pull one common called by the grave. It must be a short print. Uh, I don't know. To be honest. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! We finally got one! <laughs> Put, move to the camera. I can't see it. See it. See it. Oh. Put, put in the middle. Put in the middle. Oh, yeah. Pretty. <laughs> That's two. Ghostville. Infinite. Yes. Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn. A Phoenix, sure. <laughs> and now I've officially uh, tripled my money back. Yes, because... First ed, infinite impertinence. Like, that's over a hundred, isn't it? It's 120 last I checked. Holy gripes. And less less than stellar backup operator. Yeah. Any packs left? Uh eleven. Eleven oh Let's get another one. Let's get a play set. Holy shit. <laughs> this is nuts. Well, it's exceeded my expectations. That's four secrets. That's the thing with these cardboard packs. Uh, you, uh, they're not like the standard boxes. You could end up getting like just because something completely random. Because because if you will buy a box, you're only going to get two secrets. But if you just buy every cardboard box, you might pull four or five secrets. Uh, last 10 packs. Oh, I'm not thinking that. Okay. Just a, just a new super, nothing stellar. Uh, Element Saber La Puglia. Oh. Trickstar to Fiendom. Seems like the Fiendom and the uh, Goki to Master Ogre are the common ones I come across. Mm. Well, now, if you send some of those cards home, you may have to put tracking on them just to play safe. Because <laughs> they, they ain't cheap. Holy moly. They're like two bucks a pack. Yeah. No, nothing new. No, I highly recommend that people, if you come across Flames of Destruction, buy them, just because every secret is is very useful. Well, most of them, I'd say. Right. A couple of new ones, but nothing, nothing super stellar. A wind up Zen maintenance. And World Legacy Struggle. Okay. Still, still, I'm happy for, uh, uh, I got three, uh, well, the three biggest secrets I pulled out of these 29 packs. Mm. 
Finally, another call by the grave. Oh, okay. Another second light. Okay, and a new super link bound. Reboot. Oh, yeah. No, don't go astray of those. It'd be cool, though, if I was actually up there, me and you, on a day off, go to the shop, play a game, and people might actually be interested. Hey, what are they playing? Maybe we should learn, too, right? Start a community up there. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have a monopoly on cheap cards that we would. That's true. Okay, not complaining. Another Nightmare Phoenix. Has anyone been asking for those? Uh, the thing is, is uh, like I haven't seen them float around, but uh, but but they were great, le easy link monsters. So I don't think people would would reject them. Yeah, they're very generic. I think that was part of the problem. <laughs> they're so generic. Another network travel. Mm -hmm. And then Dread Anima. How many left? I think two or three more packs. Uh, two packs. Okay. So it looks like I pulled all this. Well, I don't know. I might have pulled all the secrets. I might not, but. So I never pulled a Nightmare Cerebus, and that's a super, so. Yeah. Okay, we got a World Legacy Sorrow, got the Trickstar Bouquet. Okay. Last one. Be crazy if there's another uh, impertinence. That'd be nuts. Holy moly. That's so cool. Nightmare Corruptor would be great. Nightmare Corruptor or a uh, Cer Cerberus. Nope. The so same one showed the uh, Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord, and the Vandred Anima. Well, I think that was an insane haul. Like, Ghost Spell, Unicorn, a few Phoenixes, and Infinite Impertinence. They're all first ed. Yeah, I think you'll have to put tracking on those if you send them home. And uh, I'll definitely put Infinite Impertinence to good use, even though I'm probably not going to play at the meta tournament for a while but yeah that's so yeah all any of you people watching this video um i don't know where you are if you're still able to find flames of destruction definitely go and get them the only reason why he's been able to get them is because there's just no community in fort mcmurray <laughs> that plays this game he's the only guy that goes to walmart and buys them so I don't know if Walmart, Walmart will restock their Flames of Destruction. You think they will? In all honesty, every time I bought and I bought all the packs there, they just keep restocking them. So I don't know who their supplier is, but maybe, maybe they but got them all in the put... back, back there somewhere. <laughs> They're probably oh, he but... bought them all. Let's just go to the back and put more out there. But uh, but in all honesty, even though now thanks to Infinite Impertinence, now my Flames of Destruction set is now complete. Mm. But uh, but but it makes me wonder if they're still out there, if they're still for sale, if I should just uh, buy them just to get cards for for everybody else because the uh, because everybody wants them. Yeah. Well, anyway, time will tell. So anyone, anyway, <laughs> everyone, thanks for watching, and remember. Be a good sport, play the game, not the fame. See ya! Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click on the little bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. Link is in the description below. Happy dueling!